we're back. So, got the gate put back together. Uh, we did replace the, uh, the bottom hinge bolt, as you can kind of see. It's a little bit bent. <laughs> uh, made swinging that gate pretty hard after that, so that is garbage. Uh, we got everything set back up. The gate is, the geometry on the bottom of the gate is off a little bit, but I think it's still gonna be just fine for our test. Got everything swinging properly. Uh, working just fine. So, we're gonna load it up and kind of see where, where it uh, starts to pull apart at. Uh, I don't expect the numbers to be nearly as high as, as it was when the wood was on there. Because what the wood does is that's gonna help keep everything nice and square and tight. Um, and we obviously we took that off to uh, see where it's gonna break to kind of weaken it. So, let's start loading it up. All right, 100 pounds. All right, you can al already tell, swinging it, that it's just a little bit more bouncy. And not nearly as stable without the, the wood on there. 200 pounds. Three hundred pounds now. Actually, this guy's moving around on me a little bit too much, so I'm just going to throw some tape on here real quick. So it doesn't keep opening up. This will be five hundred. And you can see the uh, hinge is dropping down at the top. So that's, that means that's forcing this one down again. And we're also getting some deflection in this top pipe here. It's starting to pull away. So this is going to come off the hinge pretty quick here at this point. Um, we're actually going to do to try and make this last a little bit longer. See, because we want the we want the gate to fail, not the hinges. Okay, so we're definitely starting to see some some of that top pipe bending. Uh, everything's just kind of coming down. <laughs> it's getting heavy. All right, uh, we're actually back up to the 900 pounds again, surprisingly. So as you can see, though, that we're definitely starting to get some some significant bend in this. Uh, the gate is flexed down to about, about four and a half inches low right now. So it's, it's pretty well bent up. Uh, the welds are holding up just fine though. We're not having any, not having any real uh, connection issues. It's just the, uh, the pipe itself. All right, folks, 1,070 pounds. We are definitely, <laughs> I mean, this gate's shot at this point. We have significant failure. Uh, just in the pipe bending. But there's a thousand, a thousand and seventy pounds on there, so that's quite a bit of weight. All right, we are kind of resting on that right now. I'm gonna slowly move that out and see if it doesn't. All right, that's gonna fail as soon as I pull this off of here. Oh, nope. The gate's actually still supporting the weight. We have clearance there. Right. These are 75 pounds each. So we're gonna jump from 1,070 to 220. No. All right, well there's over 1,200 pounds on that. It's definitely fallen, as you can see, and completely unusable. And actually, at this point, one of the pins is resting on, on the uh, test frame. So uh, I don't know if we actually got that 1,200 pounds on there or not. But as you can see, significant weight on there. Uh, it's completely destroyed at this point, obviously, but uh, overall, very successful test. Uh, I'm happy with it. And next we're gonna test the, uh, the uh, regular vinyl coated uh, RS20 pipe and see where that falls. All right, we're getting ready to take this gate off. As you can see, I mean, it is just totally trashed. Um, completely, completely all bent up. But what did not fail and all the welds, the connections are in great shape. Uh, no problems there. 
Um, where we did see the issues, again, this top beam where that was actually carrying all the weight. And then uh, we did see some, ish, some uh, movement on the bottom hinge, which loosened up the top one. So that's kind of that, it for that. So we're gonna test the, uh, the RS20 vinyl coated now. All right, so we're all set up to test our RS20 vinyl coated gate frame. Uh, just like before, we don't have any wood on here, so it's gonna be significantly weaker than if there was wood and pickets on it. Uh, gives it a lot of rigidity for that, that way. But as you can see, everything's operating properly, swinging good, latching good. Uh -oh. All right, so we're gonna throw our uh, weight frames up here and load it up. All right, we're falling, we're sinking about three quarters of an inch right now. Still latches though. All right, 400 pounds on the frame. And actually we're gonna call failure at that point on the latch at uh, 400 pounds. All right, so we're sitting at 800 pounds right now. And we do have just a little bit of, uh, I mean, it's sliding underneath the latch, but it's doing, doing pretty good at this point. 1240. And we are actually starting to rest on the gate frame in the back, on this back side here on the weights. So 1240 is gonna be as high as we can go to test this. Um, you can see it held up quite a bit better than the, uh, the RS-16, or I'm sorry, the 16-gauge uh, pipe. So definitely, this one's definitely uh, deformed quite a bit more. So, all right, I'm gonna take all the weight off and uh, we're gonna see, kind of compare the two, see how much uh, damage was done to each one and uh, take a look at it from there. All right, so we've taken everything, all the weight off of this again. Uh, haven't adjusted anything yet as far as the hinges or uh, anything like that goes. Uh, we are hitting over here on the latch side, not very much. We're only down about a half inch or so out of the, uh, from where it should be. And I think most of that is going to be right there in that bottom hinge. So I'm gonna adjust that real quick and it should, sh should shut very easily. So all I did was uh, just kind of bang this straight. This uh, cane bolt is uh, pretty loose and sloppy in the hole at this point. So that's where a big part of the uh, slop's coming from. But as you can see, it's uh, working pretty, pretty darn well at this point. Uh, very little uh, bend in the top frame actually. Uh, it seems, seems to have held up very, very well considering it just had 1200 pounds on it. So. Uh, and this is also consistent with the, uh, the previous test that we did with the concrete. Right, just to compare the two, because that's what we're doing in this video. That's the difference. This one is severely bent and out of shape. And this one is closing like a dream still. So um, this is gonna be definitely a good economical choice for a lot of, the, uh, lot of your fences. Uh, the the uh, vinyl coated RS20 is definitely gonna be stronger and uh, more resilient though. So. All right, well, thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope it helps you uh, decide on what, what's gonna be the best option for your project. If you have any questions, uh, you can either contact me or, uh, or our office. The uh, contact information should be right at the top of your screen. Uh, just click on the con contact tab, send us an email, or uh, drop us a phone call. Thank you and uh, have a great day.